Hey guys, welcome to today's video. I'm Nicole, I'm a homeschooling mom to a seven, six, and two year old. And today I'm going to be sharing with you our first grade um, curriculum fix. I should have already posted our third grade and then next up is gonna be our family subjects. Um, so make sure to subscribe so that you can see the family subjects. Um, but let's get into it. <music> I'm going to start with math. Um, if you watched my third grade, the curriculum is going to be pretty similar, but um, slightly different. So honestly, I don't want to go grab the other one, but um, he's going to be doing level one of dimensions. Um, math, we're doing a little bit differently this year. Um, so we've done dimensions for quite a few years and um, we like it. They learn a lot from it, but it just um, could be a little bit more engaging. It's meant for like a classroom. I have gotten the homeschoolers guide. I have a review on it or like a comparison video. Um, and it talks about why it's just like not really my favorite. Um, anyway, so what we're going to do is three days a week, we're going to do our dimensions curriculum. And then one day a week, probably Thursday, but I'll just kind of see how we like work it out. We're going to do um, games. So I'll probably do like one game to aim towards what one son is learning, one game toward my other son. And I think that that is just going to make math a lot more like exciting and fun. And I just think we're all going to enjoy it a lot more. Okay, and then for language arts, um, I keep our language arts in a little basket, which unfortunately Target doesn't sell anymore because I would love another for my daughter. Um, okay, so for our like core part of our language arts, we do um, Good and the Beautiful, we do the older level because I find it a little more challenging. He is on lesson 65 of level one. So, um, and we still are working through that this school year. So he will probably be on level two, uh, October-ish. Um, he just works through it really fast. So, and he's got like a later birthday, like February. So he's already six. Um, we go more based on their age versus like the calendar year for what curriculum they use. Um, like he's already for math on um, 1A of dimensions. So he's gonna be starting level two next year as well, even though he's in first grade. Anyway, so we do that and that um, has a reader, but um, I just don't really use that reader with level one. Um, he has other more challenging books that he reads. And then he is almost done actually with his level one handwriting. So he's gonna move on to level two. He loves doing handwriting. Also for language arts, um, something that is for reading comprehension is God's Big Story. So this is level one. And so what this is, is he's reading through stories of the Bible. Um, they're just a few, like three or four pages. And then he has his book in here. There's like crossword puzzles. There's um, fill in a word, finish a sentence. And then there's at the end, there's always like a thought provoking question. It's called a faith lesson. And it's just really sweet, but it does like um, encourage him to think back to what he just read doesn't necessarily have very deep questions, but it does sometimes ask, um, what would you do in this situation and things like that. So it's got his little brain working on what he just read and, and it's about the Bible. So it kind of checks off our Bible as well, which is nice. Okay. And then the last thing for writing that we're going to be doing is DART. Um, I did this with my second grade last year and my kindergartner at the time, um, was able to do it with us some. Um, I did just focus on it with my second grader, but I know that my going to be first grader is going to do just fine with it. Um, and he's going to feel, you know, like a big kid doing similar um, to what his older brother is doing and knowing that he just did it last year. I think the one that I got is um, something about Bigfoot. So he's also going to be very into that. Um, so I plan on doing quite a few of those this coming year. And then maybe toward the end of the year, there were some Memoria Press ones that I did with my second grader at the end of first grade that he um, really enjoyed. So I will probably do the same ones. It was like the Animal Folk Tales and the um, Beatrix Potter. So probably do those for the end of the year, but we'll just see how dark goes with him. 
Okay, and then for grammar, um, I talk about it a little bit more in the third grade curriculum video, so check that out. But um, we are going to do the fix it grammar. So I'm technically doing this like family style, but I'm not going to include it in my family subjects video because it's really an independent thing. I'm just starting them at the same level at the same time because I know that they can both do it and it's going to be a little, we all just enjoy family subjects a little bit more. Um, so here's a student book. So he's going to learn vocabulary. He's going to learn grammar, um, parts of a sentence, like all different things in here. And I'm excited about it. It looks really fun and it'll be fun that we can do it all together at the same time. Okay, and then other things for independent. So for science, um, we have a science curriculum that will be in my family subject video. Um, but I'm also going to get him an annual subscription for KiwiCo. He's gonna have a year of that. So he's gonna have, um, buzz. Uh, he's gonna have little, like, you know, those little just kit boxes to do. Um, and his brother has something different, um, a little more advanced that he'll be doing. So I think that they'll both have a lot of fun with that. And then he did ukulele this year for the whole year. And um, we're gonna continue that next year. I think I might just do one semester of it though, um, like the second half. And then my plan is for the first semester to do rock climbing with them. Not with them, <laughs> for them. Um, and uh, that should be fun. I think he already said this year that he wanted to do it, but his brother wanted to do baseball and I just couldn't like balance them at the same time along with ukulele it's just too much. we'd be out of the house like every single day <laughs> can't do that um so anyway that's the like electives plan we also have some um like family subject electives as well and yeah so that is the plan for his year um i'll talk about things like our homeschool group and stuff like that in the family subject video but yes, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe so that you can see all the other curriculum videos coming up. And I do like to review the curriculums as well. So you can kind of see like how we like them and things like that. Thanks guys.